this is where it gets super interesting slash we need to get super precise because you're perceiving power by staying in your drive leg and, and holding this, this pattern uh, of your loading phase of your drive leg, which is freaking fantastic. Like you look great right here. Like that's a powerful move. I would probably put you in, in more of a hybrid category of the way that you're moving here. Your trunk is tilted, good glove side extension. You have a really good loading pattern. Like I said, of that drive leg. Um, but at what cost, right? So what are we sacrificing to kind of maintain this posture, if you will? And what I see that we're sacrificing is essentially timing and positioning upon anchor point. Anchor point is when your front foot truly anchors into the ground and your leg, your lead leg takes on force. Okay. So this is where I get nerdy and talk about the brain body connection and how this pertains to pitching mechanics. So you do a good job initially of the tempo uh, of the tempo <laughs> of the tempo of your delivery. And then by you kind of getting, I would, I would actually call it kind of getting stuck over the rubber somewhat um, here with your trunk tilt. And uh, that's actually signaling like to your, to your body that we are now kind of almost not, this is going to be worded probably incorrectly, but it's almost like you're signaling to your body that we're, we're, we're hitting the brakes a little bit to then maintain our load uh, of the drive leg, which is interesting, right? Because it's like, okay, uh, I've been told to feel powerful in my back leg. I've been told to, to really load up my drive leg, which again, isn't bad in and of itself, but what we're sacrificing to maintain that, that, that holding phase is what I see as inability to segment your two rotations. And this is hip shoulder separation. I, I believe segmentation is, is authentic separation and segmentation is the lower body rotates first center cut of the drive phase. I, I usually see center cut of the drive phase as a common kind of point in which the hips initiate rotation. Um, while the trunk remains neutral, you do a good job of your trunk. I think your glove side aids a lot into your, your trunk rotation mechanics, but you can see here, like your front foot's on the ground and your, your hip and your shoulder, there's no segment. There's no, there's no dissociation there. So now what that's going to lead into a, is a, is a multitude of breakdowns. And I see this a lot too. Um, it's easy to pinpoint like, okay, segmentation breakdown leads into X, Y, and Z. It's about, okay, well, why is the segmentation breakdown occurring? And like I said, I think there's a big component there that's stemming from your initial move and your, your, your perception of how you're loading and holding your, your drive leg throughout your drive phase. So now, um, these are the segmentation kind of byproduct breakdowns where your pelvis isn't in the most optimal position upon landing. So it's going to affect your lead leg block into knee extension. You're going to have limited knee extension velocity, which is a, is a piece to throwing velocity. And since you didn't really put your hips in the best position, you didn't clear your hips. So then they have to kind of complete rotation on the fly. This is where I think we're, we're going to get into a trail leg hip flexion pattern. And I don't know if you follow any of Dr. Heenan's stuff, but he's got a lot of studies and, 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 and correlation to trail leg hip flexion and, and Tommy John surgeries. We also have early launch. So your chest is well behind your lead knee. Your throwing shoulder is pretty much in line with your glove side shoulder. And you're not getting, you're not maximizing that extension, which I see uh, a lot of times with guys that obviously have that, that, that problem of segmentation and, um, late hip rotation. Okay. As he descends from peak leg lift, that's when we're going to really emphasize drive leg mechanics. We want to absorb incoming force and we want to be able to store produce into the ground. So watch his trunk. So a little bit of tilt, not so much counter rotation, but a little bit of tilt boom right here it's loaded, right? And he's, he's got a much quicker tempo because um, I think of his arm action than you do, but it's a good kind of visual for this, this loading phase here. Boom, loaded. All right, let's get going. Okay, now we're going to initiate rotation. You see kind of when his back foot, his back heel is going to start to peel off the ground and his, his, his back knee is going to start to cave in. That's when his hips are initiating rotation. 
and then boom, we get him down to anchor point. You can just see, right? Like that's, that's clear as day on, on why he's focusing so much on acceleration rate. Um, you get put into a, a, a posture with your hips well into rotation. Uh, that's that, that alignment I was referring to uh, with you regarding the lead leg block and hands above, but you can see the angle of his trunk as his front foot takes on force, right? It's way more into his, his lead leg than it was into his back leg. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.